Hey, it's Kamori, and welcome to Cosplay Rewind, the show where I go over costumes that I made back before I started doing YouTube, and show you guys how I made them if you are interested in making these costumes for yourself. So today I'm going to be going over my Misa Amane cosplay that I made back in 2012 for Anime USA. And this is a outfit that she doesn't wear in the anime or manga, but it's on one of the covers, and I just really like the design of it. So for the jacket, I just got a women's suit jacket from the thrift store, and I think I dyed it a little bit more blue. And then it has some pinstripes on it already, but the pinstripes in the artwork are very pronounced, so I just took some white paint and painted over some of the pinstripes to really make them pop. She also has all of these little details on it, so for example, the buttons weren't the color I wanted, so I just ripped them off, painted them black with some nail polish, and sewed them back on with some pink thread. She also has all these designs on the sides of her jacket, so it has these fake pocket flaps, and I just took some pink fabric zigzagged around the edges and sewed it to the jacket, and for the patch, pretty much the same idea, I took some black fabric, painted on the skull, and then zigzagged it onto the jacket. The safety pins are really more for decoration than anything else. Now for the sleeves, she has the sleeves of her jacket cut open, so I sliced open the sleeves and then zigzagged along the edges to keep them from fraying any further, and also that way it secured the lining to the outer part of the jacket, and then the hole is held shut by more safety pins. She also has these pins on her jacket and couldn't really get a good look at what they were, so I just bought some Death Note related pins in the dealer's room and used them for the pins on her jacket. Originally I did have a black shirt that I wore underneath it, but that shirt was part of my regular wardrobe and it got holes in it, so I don't have it with the costume anymore. And for her skirt, it's just a basic pleated skirt. There's no zipper or anything. It's made out of this really shiny black stretch pleather. So it just slides on over the head and everything was sewn using a zigzag stitch. For her accessories, the necklace, I ended up buying at Michael's, surprisingly enough. It was close enough to the design and the artwork, so I just went ahead and got that. And then her choker was some pleather look fabric that velcros in the back and then I just added some eyelets on it. And for her earrings they were some sparkly fleur-de-lis charms that I got and then just attached it to a clip-on earring base. Also for her accessories she wears fishnets and black boots and then also has these ripped stockings so I made fake stockings that just tuck in the top of the boot. It's just a tube of black stretch fabric, and then I cut it apart. And for the Death Note, you could go out and buy Death Notes, but I was on a budget, so I just got an old composition book, painted it black, and then painted the Death Note design onto it. So I hope you found this video helpful if you were planning on making your own Misa Amane cosplay. I really, really loved Misa's aesthetic in Death Note. She has questionable morality, but growing up I thought her clothes and her style was fantastic and wanted to have her entire wardrobe, even though I only ended up making one costume of hers. If there is a Misa outfit that you would like to see me make in the future, uh, put a link in the description box to uh, an image of it if there's a particular Misa outfit you'd like to see me make, because I would be interested in making more of her clothes in the future. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next Cosplay Rewind.